Let's simplify this fraction. We are going to first use a little trick, which is this. I've taught it to you before, but a minus b is the same as negative b minus a. So you'll notice that these things right here, they're just switched. One's x minus y, the other one's y minus x. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this one and rewrite it as negative x minus y. If you think about it, that works. And I'm doing that because I want the common denominators. Now I'm going to take this negative, which is like a negative 1 on the outside, and put it on the top. I'm going to put it up there so it's easier for me to see. So that's a negative 1 over x minus y plus x over x minus y squared. Now you see that in order to get these, to add these two things, I need a common denominator. And I have only 1 here and I have 2 there, so I need to multiply this by another x minus y, but I can't only multiply the bottom, I also have to multiply the top. When I do that, I get negative, I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative in now, negative x plus y is on the top, all over, and notice that I'll have common denominators, so I can just add the tops together, plus x, if I distribute that and I'm adding them, those go away, I just get y all over x minus y squared. That's my answer.